What's up party people? Today we're going to be looking at the Papaya Decron Anniversary Preparation Events. Now this update came out last week and it's got a lot of good stuff, so let's take a look at this. Uh, basically, Papaya is acknowledging that we are going to be coming into their fourth year of uh, being the publishers for Decron on June 21st. And I, I don't know about you guys, but I almost feel like that was yesterday. I can't believe that it's you know been three years and we're going to be coming into our fourth year on June 21st. I That's just crazy. Uh, I'd like to say that I have lots of awesome things to say about Papaya. I really don't, but, uh, you know, there's been some good things. Uh, in terms of this event, though, there is actually a decent amount of good stuff to take advantage of, so let's uh, let's work our way through it. First off, during this entire time up to June 21st, there are going to be experience uh, boosts, so it's a good time to be leveling. Now, I will say that they haven't been super good about reactivating them all the time. I mean, there's been a couple times where this hasn't been active, and I really feel like they need to step up their game on that. There shouldn't be blank spots, especially when they say that they're going to be having it running during this entire time. Also, this anniversary boost, um, there's no information on what this anniversary boost is. So on June 21st, I don't know what it's going to be. Once again, uh, this is just preparation events. There's going to be an actual event once this happens. I don't know what that's going to be. Hopefully it's something good. So, they did change the connection boosts, and I have mixed feelings about this. First off, they did get rid of the, uh, what are those called? Those uh, treasure map pieces that you can use to get the red, firebird, or the red firebird mount, so that's a little upsetting, but they did replace it with some good stuff. There is the Deca box and Decron box, and we'll see what's in there. That's for the uh, first 30 minutes, second 30 minutes, and then your five Bell fragments. The Bell fragment drop rate is still horrible compared to the amount you need so honestly giving us five of these is kind of a joke it's like what's the point totally useless given that i know at least one person had to use almost 50k of them to max out their uh, emblem so it's like what are you going to do with five that's <laughs> i don't know i just think that's dumb i just think it's kind of a slap to the face that's a dumb reward um uh, once again karen bell fragments pointless uh the decron box that is good and the Papaya Plate Crystals, those are also good, so those are good time rewards. Uh, on the end here, I don't know why you would want to exchange 50 Papaya Plate Crystals for a Tristy Gold Box, especially since they drop in the field. That makes no sense at all. And I have no idea why you would want to change Karen Bell Fragments for 10 Seed of Dreams. That, once again, makes no sense at all. 50 Fortress Vouchers for 5 Seed of Dreams, that's not bad. These other ones, though, are a joke, and they make no sense. And it's very apparent that this that these exchanges, some of these are made by people that don't really play the game because, like, this, these make no sense. These don't, these aren't worth it at all. I mean, the exchange ones have almost never been worth it, and now they're even less worth it, so that's kind of lame. But uh, you do get a couple good things, so it's definitely worth logging in. So, uh, these Papaya Crystals are going to be dropping in the field, and they actually have a pretty decent drop rate, and you're going to use them to spell things out. We've had events like this in the past, and I enjoy them personally. I don't know about you guys, but uh, I enjoy the letter collection events. The only thing I don't like is I don't get why they have to make certain letter rates lower than others, because it's just it's just a scam to get you to try to buy the stuff in the D shop. Because, for example, the P's and the E's have a lower drop rate than anything else, so I think that's kind of dumb. Although the letters themselves don't actually drop. What drops is the crystal, and the crystals exchange for all the letters. So um, that's kind of cool, I guess, but... It's basically the same thing as the letters randomly dropping, so I don't really see that much of a difference. So, <clears throat> uh, you there are some buffs you can get. The buffs are very strong, but once again, they're going to be deleted, so I think it's dumb that they even add in the buffs if they're just going to delete them. I don't personally like that. I guess they're trying to stop people from hanging on to buffs and becoming overpowered, but it's like, what's the point of getting the buffs if they're just going to be deleted? I think it's stupid. Uh, in terms of the actual boxes, there is some kind of cool stuff we can get. We'll start with the Deca box. Uh, like the Stamina 100 is pretty nice. Um, for the first one, that would probably be the best thing in there. For the Deck Run box, there is this Papaya Celebration Belt. I'll go over the stats for that in a minute. Uh, there's the Blue Emblem Random Box, so you get stuff. Uh, I, I actually don't know what the Blue Emblem Random Box is, but that might be interesting. The best thing I think that you get from this are these experience scrolls, and that is correct, 1,100%. Now, they only last for 30 minutes, but that is still a huge XP buff, and if you're trying to get to level 200, these are going to be extremely helpful, especially if you stack them with, like, a day where there's three times experience. So that's awesome. Those are mainly what I'm going for. 
Nothing else special in the Decron box. The Happy Decron box, once again, there's a Papaya Emblem and there's a Papaya Belt. We'll go over the stats for that soon and then kind of similar stuff. And then the final box, which is the Papaya Decron box, you can get a plus 10 belt, which is pretty cool. Now, I will say that the belt, well, here, let's look at the belt. I'll pull it up right now. So the belt is pretty good for, like, PvE, I would say. In terms of a PvP belt, I'm not super impressed with it. Uh, but getting 14% attack in terms of PvE is pretty good. So, I mean, I wouldn't mind to get my hands on one of these. But I would have to get the plus 10 one because, one, they're bound. So you can't buy them from other players. And, two, since they're... Uh, you know, bind it. It's not like you can trade them over to other accounts and use protectors or something on them. Not to mention that protectors in the game right now are super hard to get. Like the seed of dream rate or the seed of dream rate has dropped so much that like there aren't a lot of people selling protectors anymore. And also, like one protector is worth like multiple graces. Like how dumb is that? Why would you need to use? <laughs> why why would you need to trade two items that are used for upgrading epic items? for one item that's not even as good that's used for upgrading normal items. There, There's a big disconnect with that right now. So uh, I really hope they add a way to get more protectors in the future because we're getting we're seeing this massive deficit in weapons for lower level players, like your, your TF weapons and your ultimate weapons and stuff like that, just because protectors are so hard to get. Uh, as you can see, there is a set effect with the uh, emblem, and we can pull up the emblem here. Uh, the emblem really isn't that impressive. 40 vit, I guess, is okay. Uh, the HP, I guess, is nice with the set effect, but overall, I would say this is not a super good belt or emblem. Uh, the, the, the the Golden Dragon Scale belt is still definitely a better PvE belt, but this one would have hopefully been more easily obtainable, but it's not. And I'm actually a little upset they didn't make these trading, because it would have given us more belts circulating in the game and emblems, so that, you know, players can get them, but... I think the main reason they don't make it tradable is because, of course, people are going to abuse the event and, like, make a billion accounts and do it. So that's probably the main reason they didn't do it. But I personally feel like this belt should have been tradable because it would have filled in some of the gaps for, like, lower-level belts uh, for players. I mean, obviously it's still 170, but it, instead of, like, paying a bunch of money for a different belt, this one probably would have been cheaper. So that's a little upsetting. I'm not very happy with that. So, um, <clears throat> honestly, in my opinion, the only thing that's really worth getting is probably the uh, the XP scrolls, and that's what I'm trying to get, because those will be good for getting the level 200. Other than that, not super impressed with the rewards, just being honest. Uh, there's going to be more events coming, so that's very exciting. They added a new thing in the D-Shop. Uh, you can get the crystals, the Karen fragments, or any of this stuff. There is a strength 10% stone now, which is kind of cool. So 10% melee attack, I believe, is what that gives, and that's not been in the game before, so that's cool. Also, it's giving people an, act an opportunity to get the Grandmeister skill book exchanges, so that's also pretty cool. So it's, I don't know, it's a pretty decent box, but not something I'm personally interested in spending money on. And then we did get a few bug fixes. The 160 package was not working with the level up package, and it is now, so that's good. Uh, I don't know what this Mold Rush issue is but apparently it's been resolved and then uh, people were complaining about the belts and treasure boxes not opening it's not an issue you have to use them in an open area if you get that from like a platinum box so there is our update guys i'm a little late on this video in fact i think we're getting another update tonight but uh overall uh, i'd say this is okay i mean the experience boost is really nice um the experience scrolls are really nice i'm not impressed with how they did the emblem and the belt I just don't think it was done well. Um, I just, I don't know. I feel like there's always good opportunities for these events to be a lot more, you know, for the players. And I just always feel like they're not. I always just feel like it's one way or another trying to get you to spend money on the D shop. Because that's just, that's just where this always seems to go. Anyway, my neighbor's dog has started barking. So this is probably a good time to end the video. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, uh, you know, you can go in the uh, description of my video, you know, you can watch me stream on Twitch, you can join my Discord if you want to hang out or talk, um, all, all my social media stuff's down there. Uh, as always, questions, suggestions, you can leave them in the comments, and until next time, guys, take care.